Good to go. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Economic Development. I'll get this thing going because I know you have lots of hearings. Uh, today is Monday, February 10th, 2020. My name is Councilmember Paul Vallone. I have the privilege of chairing this committee. I'd like to extend my thanks to my fellow committee members and staff for coming together for today's vote. Last fall, this committee heard a package of 18 pieces of legislation jointly with the committees on general welfare and education. That package focused on food equity, which Speaker Johnson has highlighted as a keynote component of his legislative policy agenda. Today, after several rounds of negotiation with food policy advocates and mayoral administration, this committee is proud to be voting on two bills from that legislative package, with more to come in the near future. The Committee on General Welf Welfare will also be voting on two other bills from the package later this afternoon. The first bill in front of this committee today is proposed introduction 1666A, co-sponsored by Councilmember Ben Kalos and Speaker Johnson, which would codify into law the Mayor's Office of Food Policy. The Office of Food Policy would be added to the City Charter and tasked with several critical responsibilities, including providing recommendations to the Mayor and agencies regarding food policy, coordinating multi-agency initiatives relating to food policy, performing outreach to food policy advocates, community-based organizations, academic institutions, and other entities to advance the city's food policy, and supporting initiatives that are designed to promote access to healthy food. This bill was in the works for a number of years and today caps a multi-agency and multi-speaker effort to shift food policy and food equity towards the top of the city's list of priorities. The second bill we are considering today is proposed introduction number 1664A, sponsored, sponsored by Councilmember Vanessa Gibson, which would require the newly codified Office of Food Policy to develop a 10-year food policy plan. As part of that plan, the Office of Food Policy would need to consult with relevant city agencies, community-based organizations, leaders, and food system stakeholders that focus on food policy, equity, justice, and food insecurity. The 10-year plan would set goals to reduce hunger, improve nutrition, increase access to healthy food, reduce food waste, develop and improve food and farm economies, and increase urban agriculture and sustainability. The Office of Food Policy would also be required to issue a progress report on the food policy plan every two years. We commend the goals set by legislation before the committee today, and we think they are a welcome step towards improving the state of food equity in our city. For these reasons, I'll be voting yes on both bills and urge fellow committee members to do so as well. Finally, I'd like to thank the hardworking EDC staff, Legislative Council Alex Polinoff, Policy Analyst Emily Forgione, Finance Analyst Aliyah Ali, as well as Senior Policy Analyst Nadia Johnson for all of their hard work. I know Ben Kalos has a statement since he couldn't make it today, but let me just say the council members that are here. We have council members Cornegy, Koo, Menchaka, Jonai, Powers, Lewis. Uh, so we have a quorum. Before we take the vote, let me just read uh, Ben Kalos since he's co-sponsoring the bill statement. Wait, do we get the vote on whether you read that or not? I know. I, would, I was not a happy camper, but he promised a half a page. A half a page is the limit. Can I second that motion? Yes. Denied. <laughs> I'm proud to be the prime sponsor of Introduction 1666A, establishing high-level coordination of the city's food activities through empowering and codifying the Mayor's Office of Food Policy as a charter-mandated office. Currently, work related to food policy is done across various city agencies. Given this, the city lacks a comprehensive food plan that is well-funded and strategic at improving access to healthy foods in this city. This is at cost to public health. This legislation creates a unified task force of experts that can streamline attention and resources to fight for a fair and just food system. I've been working on this bill since 2014, building on Councilmember Brad Lander's work and collaborating with the New York City Food Forum, who wanted to codify the Mayor's Office of Food Policy. Further, this office will help to provide vision into the implementation of programs such as Breakfast After the Bell, Universal School Lunch, and Healthy Happy Meals, all of which have been priority during our tenure at City Council. I'd like to thank our co-sponsors as well as committee staff for the hard work, and he's asking all of us to vote yay on this important piece of legislation. Would anyone else like to be heard this morning before we vote? Seeing none, I'd like to open it up for our vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on economic development. Items are coupled. Chair Vallone. Aye on all. Carnegie. Aye on all. Who? Aye on all. Menchaca. Aye. Jonai. Aye and all. Powers. Aye and all. Lewis. Aye. We have a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. And I'd also like to hold the vote open till about 11.30 to give the other two council members a chance to come, if that's possible. 
All right. Thank you, everybody. Speak as adjourned. Well, it's not adjourned yet. <laughs>